theatricality is central to my work. But I want people to enter a different world, a fantasy world. And, you know, for me that's what art is. It's that world you can enter that's different from your regular everyday world. All artists are kind of transgressive in a way. My job is to actually make or challenge, if you like, the status quo. I mean, some people call it thinking outside the box. My identity will always be central to how I am perceived. And so that's, in a sense, why um, I chose to sort of uh, just look at it head on. When I came to Britain, I learned that uh, being black meant that you were supposed to be somewhat uh, inferior. I, I didn't quite understand that concept at all. But of course, now I understand it better in the context of um, colonialism and, and slavery. My work is a way of somehow thinking about that and, and thinking, why, why, you know, why has um, Africa uh, been so held back? And also, why are the people of African origin, you know, in Europe and America, why do they have such a raw deal? I mean, I certainly would like to see something like this. You know, contrasted with something like that. Yeah. This one's quite good. And then we can start. Yeah. I want the formal strategy to be part of the meaning of the work. So from using the textiles and the fabric and what, what that actually means. You know, they're not just textile. There's a sort of historical content there. It then becomes difficult to separate what something looks like and what it expresses. Art making is a form of alchemy in a way because uh, you know you're trying to turn the mundane into gold. You know, you're really trying to make gold from nothing. And I think that when it works very well is when you manage to turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. And, and that's what keeps me doing art, because I keep chasing that, seeing how I could turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. <laughs>